This is um, Fraps Channel here, and today I'm just going to show you um, Windows 7. Um, this Windows 7 is in release candidate stage, which means it's not the final version, but it's getting there, and it's free to the public. Um, it's, so far, it's a I really recommend it. It's a really good OS. It's fast. Um, it's reliable. And I think many people agree it's it's a step up from Vista, literally. Um, it really has a, it's it's much better. Um, leave me on that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just going to show you um, what's new. Uh, maybe you can already see a few differences. E.g., the startup bar, um, the uh, gadgets on the side. They now can go up to the um, top or bottom or left hand side wherever you want to put them. Which is a nice feature. So it's just it's just edited. They they've done whatever was wrong with Vista and made it a little bit better. So I'm just going to show you around. So as you can see, you can just move them around wherever you want. Down there, maybe. Um, even in the middle. I mean, you know, it's very customizable. Do what you want, really. Um, I put my information up here. I find it a little bit more easy to be honest, but whatever suits you really. Um, icon's still over here. Um, now the toolbar down here has changed a little bit. You now got like all these down here. So you can pin icons down to the down there. I've already got Firefox there. See? Alright, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get something which I don't have. Ultra ISO. I can drag that down it to the taskbar. That's what you got to do. All right. Then you just click that. It's just a bit more easier, you know. And it's it's quite nice to be able to do that because you you can do whatever you want. So I'm just going to unpin that. Don't want it there. I've only put a few feet, things that I use quite often down there, which I think is nice to be honest. But um, you know, it it works quite well. So let's say I want to go to Windows Media Player. At the moment, it's not been opened because it's not highlighted. It's highlighted, it means it's open, it's active, you know, alright? When I'm on it, it goes even brighter, okay? So, uh, I'm just going to close that moment. Highlight is still, because it's still on, like it always is. And I'm just going to click on Windows Media um, Player. So there you go. It comes up straight away, okay? That's a piece of music I got there. Um, you can maximize it. I just keep it down there as like, a, like an extra gadget. You know, I just prefer that. But you don't have to. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, so th that's what that is all about. And let me just say, if you if you want more than, let's say you got two um, Firefox windows, which is unlikely, but it might happen. So let's say you open another found here, it will just create another one there. So that's that one. That's your new one. It's nice and easy, and you know you can just close that or do whatever you want. Okay, <laughs> bacon. Yeah, you're going to see this bacon. Yeah, see. He's angry. He's angry. Yes. <laughs> Be right back. Okay. Um, what next I'm going to show you is the backup and restore features in this. Originally, um, only available in Vista Ultimate was the ability to um, create a system image. So obviously there's, there's brilliant backup tools available on um, Windows 7, which is pretty handy, in my opinion. Okay, so it's just look. It can look. It will look up for backup devices. I currently don't have anything in there except a Grand Theft Auto 4 CD, so I'm gonna be using that. So just cancel. But you just go through the stages. This backup could take up to 333. Probably wouldn't, but you know, whatever. Um, you just go through there and you make a backup straight to a disk. You can make repair disks and all sorts. Which I think is a nice feature with uh, Windows 7. Uh, control panel, pretty much the same. But like I said, it's it um, it still looks a, it's a bit like Vista. It's built around sort of Vista, but it, it's, an, it's a new OS and it's I still think it's much better than Vista. Even though I actually was a fan of Vista. So that's coming from a Vista fan. Yeah, this is really good. Still got your games, a bit like Vista, obviously. Um, your music, 
I put my music straight into my music library, so you know I've just got everything here. Um, pretty much the same. The toolbar up here looks a little bit different to Vista, I believe. It does look a bit different, um, but still the same sort of um, structure here. But still nice. Um, combat compatibility issues. Whatever can't be run in Vista will probably not be, be able to be run in. Um, probably won't be able to be run in um, Windows 7, which is okay, you know. Um, but it doesn't really matter. It's really quick for a start. Um, it's really quick, and I really do recommend it. It's free to you. It's free to download. You can use it as a partition or something else. I don't know. You can totally wipe out Vista or XP or whatever you got and put I mean I would actually recommend that. I'm actually thinking of just um, deleting my Vista partition and just putting Windows 7 up there just to free up some space. Because I really like Windows 7 and I, I think I'll stick with this. And um, I will be building a new computer for Windows 7. Might be a few months after the Windows 7 um, the release of the official Windows 7. But um, uh, yeah because I, I want to build a new PC for the for Windows 7, the official build, so which um, I think will be good, which will probably be i7, unless something new comes out um, after then, probably be around December time, so, but that's alright. Um, so, I've just shown you a few basic features of Windows, and I really do uh, recommend this. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.